Hey there. Thanks so much for tuning in to another Plan With Me video. I always love doing these um, and I'm really excited. Next week's spread's gonna be completely different colors than this week. So um, that's always really fun to me that, you know, to have spreads that are really different. This has been my pumpkin spice spread, a little bit of September pumpkins. I pulled in a little bit of purple. Um, I think with the purple writing, it's really kind of helped bring in more purple. But you know, today's Friday and today has been an especially busy day um, with everything going on. You can see there's lots of little stickers in there. Um, then yesterday there was very little going on. So, um, you know, that just happens sometimes for you guys, you guys know how it is. So yeah, as always, I'm filming this on a Friday. Um, so let's go ahead and see what next week is going to look like. And I'm going to use this Nicole Lexi Designs Alexandra kit. Um, and I really, this was the one week in September that I did not have a sticker kit like picked out before the month even started, um, which is a little bit crazy. But when I was flipping through um, the kits that I have, this one really just jumped out at me. Um, there were a few like kits that were really pretty that like matched with the September colors. But this one in particular, um, I just, it's on premium matte, which is my favorite. And um, I haven't used a Nicole Lexia Designs kit in a while. So I thought this would just, was just the perfect time to use it. So we have this sheet, weekend banner, a couple full boxes, some sidebar stickers, um, some really nice small icons, um, and then all of her like functional deco here, which I love the way she's been doing that now. Then we have full boxes and washi here, and then her headers, half boxes, and these stickers, which are relatively new addition to her kits. Then we have um, all these little things and uh, sidebar stickers, and some three heart checklists and some flags ombre heart checklists and uh, bottom washi and date covers and all that. As usual, I'll start with the bottom washi. I think this is really pretty. Um, I love these patterns that she used. I guess this could be, either way could be up, couldn't it? Yeah, this is a really pretty kit. Of course, now everyone has out like, you know, Halloween kits. A lot of people have out Thanksgiving kits. Um, my Thanksgiving kit won't be coming out until um, my released at the end of the month, but I'm excited about it. Um, I have seen someone else use the paper um, that is that I used in my um, Thanksgiving kit. However, um, I think it'll be different enough that, you know, you guys will still like it, hopefully. And it's not, I mean, it's a popular shop, but um, I don't know that like every single one of you shops there. Okay, I'm gonna try and make a pattern with the um, Ombre Heart checklist, but I'm not really sure <laughs> how that's gonna go. Um, but yeah, I'm really excited about my next releases even though it's gonna be a little while before it's time for them. But I'm just, I guess it's because I'm just so excited about um, Thanksgiving coming up and Christmas. And um, one of the releases I have planned for the end of September, which is gonna be again for November, um, I am almost positive no one's gonna have something like it because it's um, it's kind of a different idea that I had. And then um, I kind of, I don't know, like you'll just have to see. But um, yeah, the other kit, it's going to, let's just say um, I'm thinking of using it for a week earlier in the month than Thanksgiving. Um, it's a fall kit, but um, yeah, it's, it's kind of different. I don't even really know what I have going on next week. I guess I should, you know, figure that out before <laughs> before I get too far into the plans. But you guys know this is kind of like what I always do. So wouldn't really make a difference. The way she does her ombre heart checklist is always so unique. Um, because I don't know if you can tell, but this one's actually a little bit lighter than these two. Like, I have no idea how it's gonna look on camera, if it's gonna be like super obvious or not. Um, so sometimes she does colors like slightly different. I think these two and these two um, are the same. And I actually have two left over, which at first I was like, what? But that's kind of nice if I wanted to do two of those on the sidebar though. It's a thought. All right, let's bust out the to-do headers. Okay, got the to-dos. I don't know how it's gonna work on my index finger, but you know, we're gonna find out. Yeah, not super well, that's okay. 
Gosh, I love this premium matte paper. I wish more people did kits in premium matte. I know it's it's totally like a love it or hate it kind of thing, but it's my favorite and you guys probably already know that. I'd love to switch out my planner cover to something really pretty in fall. I'll fix that one later. Um, but I was looking through all my covers and I have a lot. I don't really have a lot of like really fall covers. Like the only fall cover I have is my Thanksgiving one. And it's, you know, just really for Thanksgiving. So that's fine. Um, and I will use it then, but I want like a fall one to use now. And I know she just put out some like Halloween ones and none of those really jumped out at me either. Like, I don't know. Okay, I'll start putting down food little things just because I know um, that's something that I am going to need every day. And I do, to be honest, find this to be a little bit redundant just because I, I now have a whole um, planner. I yeah, guess it is a planner. Um, it's an old Erin Condren, like it really is a planner. I now have a whole planner um, just for meals. Like I write down like in the different sections, I write down like breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Um, but like, I don't know. I feel I've always tracked my meals in my planner. And I know it's not a very good reason to do something, but um, I, don't, I don't know. And, and it's not something I really ever look back on. So it's not even like I could say, well, I'm just doing it for that reason. Cause that's what I used to do. I used to um, track my, I almost was just putting them on Saturday and Sunday, whoops. But yeah, that's what I used to, I used to track um, my meals just so I could like look back, see what I had. But now it's why I have a whole planner for it. Okay, I think I can match Scribble Prince Co. cleaning ladies to this kit. So let's try, this might be interesting. Okay, so Monday I need one, um, that's that color, so I'm gonna go in with that one. Like a reddish purple, I would say. I don't really know the official name. And Tuesday I need a light teal, so I'm gonna go in with that one. Okay, and Wednesday I need this color, so I'm gonna go in with that one. This might be like the most boring part of the plan with me, but I don't know, I think it's interesting. And I love like trying to match these to kits. Whereas like last week I didn't do them, um, partially because I wanted to like use a lot of that kit because it was mine and I'm gonna do that one for that color. Um, it's a little bit dark, but it's okay. Um, plus like since last week was like brown and orange, I wanted to save those for, um, October. Whereas this is a very September colored kit. So I feel like it's okay that I'm like using these. And plus like these are kind of weird purples, especially. Um, so I think it's, I don't know. I think it's okay that I'm using these now. Okay. And for TV, um, I think I'm going to mark a Wednesday TV show and this is like embarrassing. Um, so Wednesday TV show, what color will Wednesday TV, TV show be? So Wednesday TV show will be, um, is it really that mulberry color sort of? This um, red purple. I've been watching Toddlers and Tiaras again. I'm not proud of it. <laughs> it's like a ridiculous garbage show and it's so addicting. And I think the only other TV show I wanna mark um, is Friday um, Mysteries at the Museum. Okay, and it's gonna be light. Oh, and she has movie slates on her kit, which makes sense because she does a bunch of YouTube videos. Um, so I'll do one for Monday. Monday will be light teal. This is for the video you're watching right now. How creepy. And then Thursday, I'm not sure what Thursday's video is going to be yet.
sorry, I just realized I did that one in the wrong color. Not that it would matter to literally anyone else, but I was like putting that down. I was like, those shouldn't be next to each other. <sighs> anyway, she has this cute little wallet. So I wanna mark Etsy payday. To be honest, like every day has um, three little things every weekday does. So I'm thinking I do wanna mark Etsy payday just to make it three little things. Is that weird? Okay, I think this was supposed to be light teal. Yeah, so we're gonna do um, blue purple. So I know my, my color names are really great, aren't they? And then I'll just do um, one each day for the weekend, just so I can put down a little things header. I know that's so silly, but it's me. So I'll just use these hearts. Um, which are kind of general, so. I don't know why the color's like tripping me up so much this week. I'm like, I don't know why I'm struggling so much. All right, little things header time. Okay, it's a little bit better. I know I'm like a crazy person. I don't know why I feel like I have to peel them all off in one go, but here we are. I'm loving this font. I don't think it's a new font. It's I just really like it. I just don't use a ton of her kits, so I don't think it's new, but it's a really nice font. Okay, and now we can go day by day. Maybe I'll, should I zoom in for that? Maybe. Okay, so I think, okay, so I'm gonna try and stick with like the color, that, that that seemed to be working pretty well when I've been doing that. Um, this one's like the bluish purple, if you can't see. Can you see? Yeah, you can see a little bit. Um, I don't have a ton going on on Monday, so I'll just put this up at the top. I'm going to try um, doing what I did last week whenever I have something to put at the top. Um, but last week I just had, or this past week, I just had like an exceptional amount um, of like things that go up there. I honestly have no idea what's gonna go on Monday, so I think I'll just fill it with washi maybe. If I don't have enough, then I'll put a half box. Her washi has the big piece on top, that's different. I don't know why, I guess I don't have to do it that way. I can kinda of do it upside down, couldn't I? Is this gonna line up? I don't know if it's gonna be enough. one upside down. There, that's kind of abstract. So it's, I mean, it's a little bit noticeable, but it's not too bad. Um, so if, if I want to put something on Monday, I have tons of half boxes. If not, I can just kind of leave it like it is. Okay, Tuesday. Tuesday, I think I'll do one of the floral patterns. Um, this one seems to have a lot of teal in it. So I think I'll go with that one. Even though it also has purple, but I mean, to be honest, a lot of these full boxes kind of have the same colors, so I think it's okay. And then Tuesday, really the only thing um, that I would mark is that I have a team lunch. Um, I think, should I do a half box or one of these smaller ones? Maybe I'll go ahead and put in a half box. So let's find some washi. Let's do some patterned washi and a solid color full box, that will be fine. I'm not gonna be super uniform with like, you know, okay, this day I'm gonna do um, like patterns, the next day I'm gonna do solid, like I'm not gonna be super uniform about that. I guess I was put in the middle, I don't have anything else kind of next to it. Maybe I'm totally missing it, but I am not seeing um, anything for meals on here, which I mean, I guess, Maybe people don't use a meal icon. Um, let me find my Scribble Prints Co. ones. So, um, ooh, I have this color that I haven't used at all because it's kind of a weird color, but it would match this kit super well. Um, so I think I'm gonna do like the burger and fries for a team lunch because we're going to um, Buffalo Wild Wings and that's more of like a, you know, it's, it's not a hamburger place, but you know, it's more of like a fast food kind of. Okay, so for Wednesday, I'm gonna start by putting, um, the medium sized strip of purple, this color purple washi down. 
Um, I'm bad at getting those even. I actually think I'll use this full box. I was thinking about saving it for the sidebar, but I have so many that are similar. Um, I think it's okay if I use this one because I think this is really the best one for Wednesday. Okay, I don't know what color I'm gonna use for Friday. I might have to get out another um, one of these sheets, but I'm gonna use this purple for Wednesday because this one matches the kit pretty well. Okay, good, I like the way that looks. Only other thing I really have that day is a meeting, which I don't think I'm gonna mark. I think I'll just put one of these down actually. Um, that should fill up all the space. And that way if I think of something I really want to put down or maybe like a holiday or something, um, then I have a spot for it. But if not, it's not a big deal. Okay, now moving on to Thursday. What sticker do I want in the center of my spread? Um, let's see, it's a light teal. I could do one of these because it doesn't have to be anything too spectacular. I think I will use this one even though it's not like super special for the middle, but I wanna make sure I use all these and don't save one of these like to be the sidebar sticker cause they're like the plainest. Even though Thursdays are often boring, so this one might just be you know, left by itself. But I want one of the like flower patterns for the um, sidebar. Okay, so I'm just gonna use the um, coordinating washi here. Just washi, it's a little bit of a different pattern I think. It's a little, it's got a little bit more to it, but that's all right. It's close enough. Okay, I paid attention which, which way I peeled this one off so I didn't have to do the thing like I did last time. Um, let's see. There. Okay, so Friday is light purple. Um, so I think I'm gonna use like this full box and maybe this washi. So let's start with, um, yeah, we'll start with a medium piece on the top and go from there. Cause you guys know I have a couple things to mark on Fridays. Okay, I think I'll put work at home at the top. Yeah, and here comes my, my issue. Even though this doesn't match the kit, like really at all. It's in the same family. It's like a blue tone purple, like the really light one. So we'll just, we'll just pretend like it, like it matches. Okay. So then I'll put this one just a little bit underneath. Um, so I can layer this one kind of toward the top and try to get it straight. That's, is that straight enough? That's fine. We'll, we'll deal with that. Okay, there's the full box. And I need a um, cement timesheet sticker. Right, I'm gonna use this color cement timesheet. It's a little bit of a different teal than the teal in the kit, but um, it's not right next to any of like the solid color stickers. It's next to this, it kind of goes with that fine. Um, yeah, it kind of brings in a little bit of a different color, so it's not all purple. And because today, as in the Friday before this, um, was so busy, I think I'm just gonna leave that um, and not like put anything else in for now, um, just in case this fills up the way today has. Okay, and for Saturday and Sunday, um, I'm just going to put down the full boxes at the top. And at this point I've decided I wanna save this really busy pattern for the sidebar. So I'm gonna do this blue um, on Saturday. And then the flower at the very edge of the spread on Sunday. I'm actually thinking I'm just gonna use these instead of the Planner Kate double dots, just because um, they're, they're here. And I mean, they're a similar concept, right? So um, I don't know if I'll be able to fit washi between them though, maybe just like a small piece. Okay, and I'm going to um, put a piece of washi in, even though um, we might not even see it. Um, I think I'll use this color, just because I haven't used any of that color of these yet. I'm gonna redo this. Um, I wanna put a big piece on the bottom. We're gonna get some layering action in here. 
And then um, I'll put this one down. Wait, no, I'll put like washi in the middle. Oh, this might be a train wreck, but we're gonna, we're gonna go for it. I'm gonna layer it a little bit. Okay, and then I wanna put this one, um, maybe I'll just line it up, yeah. So we can show a little bit of that. There we go. I don't think that's super, super straight, but um, I like it better. And um, Sunday, I think I'll do something similar. Maybe with this like pattern washi, just because I'm really liking that. And uh, maybe I'll put the medium piece on the bottom instead of the big one this time. And just to avoid like the same colors being next to each other, I'm going to do this color. This is gonna look a lot better because it was planned out to look this way from the start. Um, I think just the little strip is fine here. Oh, I'm gonna end up covering up some of this flower. Oh well. Oh, you can still see the majority of it, that's fine. Of course I did that so they wouldn't be right next to each other and look, it happened that they are pretty much right next to each other. I have my weekend sticker. Let's try and get it on straight. Not sure how I'm gonna do those headers, but I think I might be able to like squeeze them underneath. I probably should put it over just a hair, but it's good enough. Okay, so now let's do go in with today headers. I'm not gonna do the thing this time, so. If you don't like that, you're welcome. I'm really loving this kit. It's really like, this is gonna be kind of like my September colors kit. Even though, I mean, I know the September colors, like, you know, right now it's just purple. And before that, it was um, purple and gray. And before that, it was purple and chartreuse. Um, so purple and teal are not Erin Condren's September colors, but in my mind, they're the September colors um, because a lot of people did these colors for this, their September kits um, or put out kits like this in September. And if, these are like colors that you see a lot um, kind of in September and um, can I do it? Um, yeah, and kind of going into fall when like we're not really ready for like full on fall colors yet, but this is kind of like the transition. So I think it's really cute. And I really, I don't know. I really wanted to use this in September. I'm ready for date covers, but I am going to remember to do the flags first. So um, on this side, I don't really know what my sidebar is gonna look like. I'll just do one of the one of the teal ones over here and let me move it so it's facing me. This is like honestly one of my favorite parts um, of the week is putting on my flag. These are a little bit big but it's totally fine. I don't know I just feel like putting on the flags really um, pulls the whole like spread together. Oh my gosh cutting premium mat with scissors it's amazing. Okay, so then this one, let's see. I don't really wanna do both teal, so I guess I'll do um, the light purple on this side, which it's already a similar color, but that's okay. And like, I know this one gets covered up with the date cover, and that's really crooked. Um, but I don't, I don't even care a little bit. Just because, I don't know, and like, I can still like, I still notice that it's there. Um, and that's what matters to me. I really cut my page on that one, but that's fine because um, putting down flags brings me joy and it is worth it. So now we're ready for date covers. I've already put the, the dates on um, and I'm really glad that kits have started like either um, including dates with their date covers, like stickers to put on, or have a spot for you to add your own sticker or write it on. Just because, um, like I love the, like look how this is gonna pull like, the spread together. It's gonna look really cute. Um, I love the idea of it, but I didn't like it first when people were just putting like the day of the week and not the date. Because I still need to know the date. Um, that's just me, so. Um, I'm really glad that this is like what people are doing now. And you guys, I think it was the last Nicole XA Design 
spread I did, um, I added little dates on, like kind of, um, it looks like a notification or like an annotation or something. I thought that was really cute. Um, I don't know that anyone else liked it as much as I did, but uh, that was like my favorite thing about that spread, I think, which is probably not true, but it was something I really liked about the spread. See, it covers it up almost completely, but I still know it's there, and it still doesn't have the other color poking through, so that's good. All right, let's go into the sidebar. I guess I'm gonna be brave. I'm gonna be strong. Let me get this sidebar done. So first sticker, just going to leave the dots at the top so we can see the bottom of the P. I think that looks fine. And then um, I'm going to do one of these just because um, I do my parents' mail most of the week. So I want to mark that. Um, we'll do workout for my sidebar header. I love the idea. I mean, I don't think I've ever done it, but I love the idea of like tracking my steps every day or like my calories burned from my Apple Watch, um, like whatever it says at the end of the day. I think that's a great idea. So I'm going to have the intention to do it. Probably won't happen. So I'm going to use a contrasting color sidebar sticker. I hope you can see okay. I think I zoomed out a lot, but. Um, and then for my ombre heart checklist. Oh, this week, that's a good one. Like that. And then I will do the um, teal on my heart checklist. This is actually turning out to be a good sidebar. Um, okay, so then I need a half box, which I should have plenty. Sure do. Um, maybe I'll do a pattern one. So I'll do some solid washi. And I've started like in a joking way saying washi ridiculously. And now sometimes I catch myself like actually saying it that way. So if you ever hear me say washi really weird, it's um, cause I did it ironically and now I can't stop. Okay, I know I covered up one of those, but y'all know I never used that. So let me find my little icons. Okay, what was that weird color I used? It was this one. And I knew I wanted to use the knife and fork then, or the fork and spoon. Um, so that's why I didn't use it there. There we go, put down my lunches. Okay, let's see, what other, what else do I wanna mark? Okay, so she has all these cute stickers. I'm probably not gonna use most of them, unfortunately, but I will use this laundry one um, for Saturday. I'll put it over here. I forgot to show these stickers last time or last week. So um, I'm gonna show them now. These are of course my September holiday stickers. I always have these every month. They're one of my favorite things to use in spreads. I'm always sad whenever it's a week that doesn't have any. Um, the 14th is cream filled donut day, um, which yum. So I'm gonna put that in this little box cause I think that'll fit just fine. And look perfect. Awesome, I'm super happy about that. So then the 16th is um, Mayflower Day, which I think I'll go ahead and um, put so some premium mat. And if you guys know, sometimes premium mat's really hard to peel up. Um, I think I'll put this at the bottom, just in case there's anything else that comes up for Friday. I think that looks fine. Sometimes I don't like these stickers over a pattern, but I think that's okay, the way that pattern is. And that's all for this week. So, oh, next week. The next week's talk like a pirate day and the first day of fall. Okay, and for Saturday, I'm gonna use one of these Love Your Planners scales. I probably haven't shown myself using one, but this teal is really good. So we're gonna use that. Okay, I didn't see a phone in the kit other than the icons, and I like to use like an actual phone sticker. So I'm gonna use one of these. Um, oh, I think I'll use the lighter blue. This is still from Love Your Planners. Um, I'm gonna use that down here. Okay, and I think I'm gonna use a gingerly done um, shopping basket because she has the perfect color, purple. This one, like how close is that? That's really good. So and there's really cute little laundry baskets. So there's that. Love the way that looks. Okay, and I think that's all that um, I'm gonna put in for now. I think it's everything probably that I'm gonna put in today at all. It's a pretty full looking spread already. I mean, not really, there's still a lot of blank on there um but 
yeah, I think it looks, I think it looks good. I'm, I'm happy with it. For some reason, I'm really loving the rose gold with this. Usually I don't even notice my rose gold coil, but like with these colors, for some reason it just kind of pops to me. I don't know, maybe I'm just being weird. So let me show you what I have left here. And I also, I just got this sampler um, in the mail and look, it's, it's the colors of this kit. It's exactly this kit. It's from Nicole Exit Design, so it's not like a super freaky coincidence, but I was just looking at it and I was like, oh my gosh, this is like, it's, it, they look different because it's, this is matte and this is premium matte, so it's more vibrant. Um, but yeah, I'm for sure gonna keep this with this kit because it matches absolutely perfectly. So this sheet, um, there's a lot I didn't use. I'd like to use some of these stickers, but I haven't really found an opportunity to yet but I'm gonna try. And then I haven't used any of the icons, but she has a ton of really good ones, so I probably will. Um, if I think of a bill do, I'm for sure gonna use that. And then I have another one here that matches, so that's perfect. So yeah, use just a few sheet, uh, stickers from that sheet. Use all of the full boxes and uh, like half the washi, more than half. Less than half, I don't know. This much washi is left. Um, this sheet is pretty much used as much as I'm going to. Um, I could save these dates, but I wouldn't use them with another kit. I have one ombre heart checklist, all of these left, um, a bunch of little things and headers, a lot of half boxes, but these I could still use and everything else is done and that's it. So that's gonna be it for the plan with me this week. Thank you so much for tuning in. I really appreciate it. Leave me any comments below with um, what other videos you'd like to see on my channel. It's really helpful to me. And please subscribe if you have not already. So yeah, thanks so much. Talk to you next time. Bye.